All right, so today we have a 2003 F-150 4.6 two-wheel drive, automatic of course, and we are going to be trying to diagnose a crank, uh, an occasional start, but only runs for a little while, and then crank and no start. I think it sounds like the fuel pump or something related to the fuel system because if it does start it runs okay but then it just sputters and goes to poo um, so we're gonna see if we can possibly hear the fuel pump if I turn the key on I did hear the fuel pump pretty good. I did hear the fuel pump, so that really makes me think that I've got an intermittent fuel pump problem of some sort. I'm let it run for a little bit, see what happens. I'll get my code reader, which I guess I should have grabbed earlier. I didn't think it was going to start. Be right back. And of course, of course, in the 30 seconds it took me to get the fuel, the code reader, it died. And it just stumbled out. And now we're back to crank no start. Well, let's see if we can hear that fuel pump again. All right, we got nothing. it's consistent. Let's see. And I got zero fuel pressure. Even though the key is on. So That is potentially my problem. Now, what I don't know is... Uh, Alright, how do you open this thing? That's the first thing I don't know is how to open this box. This is it. I guess it's not hard to be smarter than I am. There we go. Just a pull up on this thing here in the back and on clips. So... Here's all our relays. Of course, none of which are labeled. Thank you, Ford. Hopefully, the book is still in the truck. So, we're going to set this over here. See if we can hear something click. something but that's probably just the main power uh, we're gonna go see if we can find the book and figure out which one of these is the fuel pump relay and I have the book page 170 and 171 okay let's see number 10 fuel pump that's a fuse 
One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't think it's the fuse because I did hear it run. Nope, the fuse looks good. These fuses are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. Now we gotta see if we can find the relay. Fuel pump relay number 301. Uh, two, three, four, 301. So it is this one. Oh, good lord. Right. Time to go get some pliers. Be right back. Good gracious. There it is. Okay. FOMOCO. That is an original, I would expect, as are all of these, apparently. So let's see if we got a spare in here I can steal. Let's see what 304 is. PCM. That one's important. Can't steal that one. So, I'm going to go borrow one from my truck. So I have just swapped in the fuse out of the 03 into the fuel pump location of my 97. Number 4, of course it's different. Because, of course. So, we'll see what happens here. That's unfortunately disappointing. I was really hoping for a relay. I think that fuel pump may be gone. But we're going to let that idle for a little bit. Then we're going to take this one back over to the other truck. Give it a try. Ain't that something? Huh. Maybe it was just a bad contact. for a little bit. Let them both run for a little bit. This one's still trucking away. Nothing. No fuel pressure at all. Even though this one is trucking along pretty good. Shut that off for a second. And my fuel pressure cap has the cap on it, and it's way back there. Oh, man. 
I guess it is probably the fuel pump. Interesting that it restarted with the different relay. One more time. Fires right up. Leads me to believe that I got a fuel pump issue in this thing. All right, one more time with the original relays, but flip flopped with the PCM and the fuel pump. See what it does, if anything. to try to rig something so I can force that on and just see what happens. Testing it with the key on, I've got 12 volts at 86 and 30, which is the 86 is the 12 volts that activates the relay, and 30 is the 12 volt supply, and then through the relay it'll go up to 87 here, because the 87A is nothing. So if I apply 12 volts to 87, that should fire the fuel pump. So I'm gonna set that up right now. All right. And I hear nothing. So, throw this relay back in just for grins. nothing as I expected so I think we have a fuel pump issue let's see what a disaster this is gonna be I swear to God I've already changed this Of course we got three quarters of a tank in it which because of course I just heard it thought I heard it Yep, so uh, 
so the relay is good the only other thing I can think to do is see if I can get to the plug underneath the car and maybe apply direct 12 volts there but I have a feeling that's going to be on top of the tank so that's going to be a pain and let's see let's see what we got yeah system two lean lean bank one and bank two yep no pending codes oh do shut up so with those codes being the only ones that tells me we're starving for fuel um, and I really think it's it's obviously fuel pressure related so believing that I've got a good relay makes me think that the pump is my issue so as I don't feel like working on it the rest of the night we're going to take a little bit of a break and probably come up with a game plan tomorrow to suck the gas out of this thing drop the tank and take a look at our pump so that's where we are right now